Dirty water enters the eliminator through the inlet and travels up towards the screen. The water then passes through the screen from inside to outside before exiting the strainer, trapping the debris on the inside of the screen until a backwash sequence is initiated by the adjustable timer in the control panel. The control panel energizes the electric motor and backwash control valve. The electric motor causes the cleaning shaft to rotate and the backwash cleaning port moves slowly around the inside of the screen. When the backwash control valve opens, the difference between the high pressure inside the strainer and the low pressure outside the strainer causes a suction effect at the point of cleaning. The suction effect allows the cleaning port to pull the debris off of the inside of the screen while slowly rotating. The debris travels into the hollow backwash shaft assembly and passes down through the backwash control valve. The leading edge of the port is open, allowing a tangential flow along the screen and into the cleaning port. This helps to effectively clean the screen using the dirty water inside of the screen rather than pulling the clean water back through. If the eliminator sees a sudden high debris loading, the differential pressure switch can also trigger a backwash sequence. The differential pressure switch measures the difference in pressure between the inlet and outlet. As the screen becomes blocked, the inlet pressure will begin to rise over the outlet pressure. Once the pressure differential hits the set point, the differential pressure switch sends a signal to the control panel to initiate a cleaning cycle. After a successful backwash sequence has been completed, the strainer will reset and continue to operate according to the adjustable timers in the control panel.